We are slowly climbing out of this frigid cold of the Arctic outbreak. The cold served as a stinging reminder of what the bold north is capable of this time of year. But is it as cold as it used to be? Good question. Jeff Wagner tallied how often we dip below zero. Sunshine, sturdy ice, and a day off from school. The perfect recipe to overpower some of Mother Nature's coldest air of the season. I guess I just like playing hockey, and today I just was like, you know, we're all, fr all of our friends here together. We should just head out and do something that's, you know, free and fun. Weathering consecutive days below zero is like a Minnesota rite of passage. Well, I've heard my parents talk about how it gets even like colder and way bigger snowstorms. Words echoed by senior climatologist Kenny Blumenfeld. A lot of people who are around now haven't experienced the kind of cold that used to be much more common in Minnesota. Are we as cold as we used to be? Sure, sometimes it will get really cold and will be similar to the kinds of cold that we had historically. But the truth is we don't get to the levels of cold that used to be more common. That means not hitting 20 below in southern Minnesota or 30 below in northern Minnesota as frequently as decades past. We kind of joke that, you know, here in the Twin Cities and in southern Minnesota, negative 15 is the new negative 25. From 1991 to 2020, the Twin Cities averaged 22 days a year where the temperature dropped below zero. In the four years that followed, the average was about 15 days. If we continue having a lack of those sorts of days this decade, then those numbers would probably get adjusted downward a bit. What would be leading to this warming? <laughs> There's a few things going on. Urbanization is one factor. Building more neighborhoods, businesses, and roads connecting them all better retain heat. It's also that the entire atmosphere around the globe is getting warmer because we have more greenhouse gases in the air. Uh, that is basically reducing the amount of cold air that's available at any given time. Less cold air means less snow cover, which in turn makes the temperature warmer. Now, we don't want to diminish the cold that swept through. It definitely was dangerous. But for context, hitting 15 below zero isn't exactly something to write home about. That would be the 752nd coldest day on record in the Twin Cities. <laughs> With photojournalist Jose Pasqual, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.